everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can trace an image with Canvas Workspace from Brother. It's quite simple if you get a hang of it, the only problem is it's not able to trace everything. If you've got a complex image or image with multiple colors, you've got a little bit of problem with a program like Canvas Workspace. If you do want to trace an, an, a complex image with more colors, I would advise you to switch to Inkscape. Inkscape is completely free and downloadable and I will also make a tutorial how to make it with Inkscape. But today I'm going to show you how I do it with Brother Canvas Workspace. I have opened Canvas Workspace on my computer and I'm going to the icon which looks like a an, uh, space. And if I look, if I click on it, it shows the, the of it, if I hover over it, it shows image tracing. And if I click on it, I get the ability to select an image from my computer and if I click on it I can browse my computer and select the image I want to trace. Today I'm going to trace this very nice feather I found online and I want you to keep in mind is how bigger the image is the better it can be traced. So if you have an image like this like 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters it's quite small but it's quite a clear image so I have traced it already and I found out it works quite good. There are some settings you need to keep in mind for before you go further. First of all, you, there's an icon here that says paste the image on the drawing area. If you keep this on, it will put an image of your, 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 your a copy of <laughs> your image on the drawing area. And it, that's very annoying because you cannot completely delete it. So First of all, click this away so it will not copy the image to your drawing area. Second, you can select what do you want to trace. Do you want to trace an outline or the edge or the from the image or you just want to trace everything? If I look, click on this one, I always look at the image to know which one is which because the text is not quite explaining it good enough. This one will only trace the outside of the image and this one will trace the outside and the inside. So you see a lot of extra blue lines appearing up if I select the other one. Then the last part you can select is how many colors are in the image. The best way to get this right is to count the image colors. So we have black and white and that's two colors. So if I put this down to two. I get the two colors I've made. If I have an image with more colors, you can put this a little bit higher. But keep in mind that you see most of the blue lines around your image. And you will see that not everything will be traced because the image is quite small, but it's good enough for me to trace. If you want a better image, you just search for something with a bigger width and height to get a better result. So if I click on OK, it will put the traced image on my desktop. And you'll see here that a lot of those dots around the feather are gone. That's because they're too small for Canvas Workspace to trace. And if you do it the same trace in Inkscape, I'm quite sure you've got all the dots because the image is quite sharp. But all with all, it traced quite good. And the only problem with Canvas is also that you got double lines. If you look at this little thingy here, you will see that the line is a little bit thicker. And if you zoom in more, you will see that if I pick it up, it's a double line. And the whole image is has double lines in it. So if you want to <coughs> delete the double lines, just pick the outer image up and drag it away. You will see all the double stuff here on the right side. And you can see if there's something you want to keep or not. You see that all those dots are not um, coming with it and I do want to keep the dots. So I need to put it back and I can do that with Ctrl Z or Z or just this little arrow to the left. Then I need to delete, mainly delete all the double things. Uh, because I'm a little bit lazy, I don't want to click all those on. Just so drag a box around it. 
I keep my shift key uh, locked and I deselect the outer image and I want to delete all those things I got some more so let's do that again oh that was one too many and if I'm not sure which thing is double or not I can drag the big one aside to look if there's more things that are double here are some things that I see double so I want to delete Sometimes it's better to zoom in. If I zoom in, you can see it a little bit better. So you can better pick stuff up that's double or not. And you can delete all the double stuff. And they're quite easy to find because you really see that the line is a little bit thicker than the rest of all the stuff. I think I've got them all. I want to zoom out again. Pick the feather off. Yes, I only have little spots left, so I want to keep that. I now drag a box around everything, also the dots. Right click and choose group. If I choose group, I make a group of everything, and if I pick it now up and just drag around, you will see it all drags around with in one uh, group. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it fits on my net. And now it's ready to cut. I can just make the color of the feather also a little bit better. Just give it a color on the right menu and the first icon. Now you can see what my machine will cut out. If I put final on my net, it will cut this out of the final. You go to file, export file to use an USB key. If you want to use the internet, you can say transfer VCM file to your VCM file to your internet. Or you can use the cable if you connect your computer to the uh, machine with a cable. You can also keys to save as, and then it will save as a CV, a C WPRG file and it will save it on my computer so I can use it later but I want to cut it so I go to file transfer via the internet and it will show me a pop-up saying it's sent to my com to my machine and it's now ready to be cut if you have any questions about brother canvas workspace please let me know I hope the video was clear enough please subscribe and see you around bye bye